culturally very wealthy people of money they can afford to lose. Usually. As a matter of fact, she's decided she can't. We now join our program already in progress. Breaking up the old team and all, that's... Well, actually, I was hoping that I'd found a replacement. Well, don't even look. Don't even look. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait check, wait, wait. please. Ah. Why not? The way you tracked me down showed surprising resourcefulness. Digging up that grave took courage. Look, look. Two very valuable traits. You want drugs, Gabe? So I'm supposed to suddenly drop everything and become a con because some random stranger invites me to share his exciting life of crime? Of course not. I never suggest you resort to criminal activity. Then what are you suggesting then? Well, you're in a bind, my friend. The only way you're going to avoid jail is by doing some fancy footwork around the law. Hello? Uh, dear, I'm running late. Do you still need me to meet you at the beanery? Sure, that's, that's a good idea. Okay, I will if I must, and if I must, I will. I'll leave right now. Great. You know, on second thought, uh, I've got some time to kill. So why don't you tell me what you have to say? He's a murderer, and I can prove it. What's that? This is a detailed account of how Craig Montgomery murdered a man named Winston Lowe in Hong Kong last summer. Seems they had a partnership trafficking stolen goods, but Craig here got tired of sharing, so he murdered the man. Don't believe a word of that. It's not my word we're talking about, Craig. It's someone else's, someone who witnessed the entire thing. You really think that's gonna fool anybody? Huh? Oh, the statement is just the beginning. Jack Snyder is getting a hold of Lowe's death certificate as we speak. You know it's going to corroborate every single thing that May Lynn swore to. That you killed Lowe with prescription <laughs> drugs to make it look like a heart attack. I don't think so, Hal. Your imagination must be working in overdrive. Is there any truth in this, Craig? Any truth at all? Her, Craig, an honest answer. Is any part of this true? Very convincing looking document, Hal. Must have taken a lot of effort to get all typed up neatly. But it's a total fabrication. Well, of course he's gonna deny it, Barbara, but there's no getting around this. He's guilty of murder and he's gonna pay for it. You know how you are breaking the law. And you'll pay. Once the commissioner learns of this latest abuse, you'll be looking for a whole new career in food services. Tough talk, Montgomery. We'll see how many strings you can pull from a prison cell 12,000 <laughs> miles away. Do you really think you have anything here, Hal? I know I got you, Craig, and it's scaring the freaking daylights out of you, stop isn't it, Hal? It? Just stop it! Oh, Barbara, he desperately wants you to believe this. So desperately, he's maybe he's deluded himself into believing. But I didn't kill Winston Lowe. I've never killed anybody. You know the truth about me, Barbara. Tell me you know that much about me. Hey, what are you doing? The week before my periods, I like get super moody. I'd cry over anything and couldn't be around anyone. That time of the month, nothing ever fit. Think it's PMS? Think again. If you suffer from many of these symptoms month after month and they clearly interfere with your daily activities and relationships, you could have PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, a distinct medical condition. It causes intense mood and physical symptoms right before your period. Doctors can now treat PMDD with Seraphim, the first and only prescription medication for PMDD. Seraphim is not for everyone. 
If you develop a rash or hives while taking Seraphim, call your doctor right away because this can be a sign of a serious medical condition. People treated with MAOIs or thyroidazine should not take Seraphim. Tell your doctor about any medications you're taking or if you're pregnant, nursing, or plan to become pregnant. Side effects may include tiredness, upset stomach, nervousness, dizziness, and difficulty concentrating. Talk to your doctor about Seraphim today. How Dolphin Trainer Jenny Russo Eats a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Want another way to look at Colgate Total? New Colgate Total Plus Whitening. The same 12-hour protection as Colgate Total. Only whiter. Hey, man. Want a taste of something to make you feel good? Oh, leave me alone. Try it off. You don't know what you're missing. A little crack won't hurt you. It'll make me a cracker. Won't cost you nothing. This one's on me. Absolutely free. I said no, man. Good job, son. That's just what you do if that ever happens. Okay, Dad. Deal with your kids. Tell them the truth about drugs. It could be the most important role you ever play. I like how you handled yourself. Ask your doctor about Nasonex with moisturizing glycerin, taken once a day for nasal allergy relief due to pollens, molds, dust, and pets, day or night. Sleep on it. Side effects were generally mild and included headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. Nasonex. Fewer sneezes, fewer worries. Aaron is a lawyer, bright, beautiful, and battered. 48 hours tonight. Tonight, J-Lo is in the house. J-Lo in the house. Dave's got Jennifer Lopez. I want to ask you about your friend Puppy, all right? Plus, Matchbox 20, tonight on The Late Show. You believe me, Barbara? Why should she when that statement contradicts every word you just said? I'm going to need more than this piece of paper before I respond to this, Hal. You need more? Just ask me, Barbara. Anything. Well, for one me. thing, who is this May Lynn woman? How is she connected to Craig? May Lynn was Winston Lowe's housekeeper at the time of his death. She was aware of every person that went in and out of that house for any reason, business or personal, including Mr. Montgomery. Why don't you tell her the rest, huh? What else is there? For one thing, May Lynn was only posing as a housekeeper. In reality, she was working for some very bad people in the Hong Kong underworld, whom she later crossed. And at the time, she was locked in Hal's jail cell and would have signed anything to get out. Is that true? That she'd been arrested? Yes. But you didn't tell me that little detail, Hal. Because I hadn't finished telling you the facts, like the fact that May Lin is now dead of a drug overdose. And as the coroner report proved, she died shortly after a visit from her friend. Mr. Montgomery. Which proves nothing. May Lynn had lots of enemies. Such as? Half of Kowloon, Hal. Barbara May Lynn was not the sharpest chopstick in the drawer. She got greedy and crossed a lot of temperamental people, people who aren't scared of cops. Then, of course, Hal denied May Lynn access to an attorney and squeezed this out of her, which my attorney is having invalidated as we speak. You can call Cass Winthrop if you like. That won't be necessary. I'm sorry you've been put through this, Craig. It's outrageous. You gotta be kidding me. I want you to leave, Hal. How can you be so blind? Didn't you listen to a I word I just told you? I've been listening to you forever now. I'm tired of listening to you. I just want you to go home before you cause any more damage. Damn it. He is the one causing the damage, Barbara, and you could be his next victim. I am tired of your wild accusations, Hal. I have evidence. Hal, you heard her. I, I think you'd better leave. I do not listen to you. Well, maybe you'll listen to Hope Tell Security. Now, either you leave or I'll have you thrown out. It's up to you. Trancy, huh? You know, it always is. I, I, I think that's one of my favorite things about the farm. <laughs> the draft? <laughs> no, the sameness. Ah. I mean, you know, everything in Oakdale, it keeps growing and expanding, but Mama's farm, I mean, it, you know, it just, it, it never changes. <laughs> no matter how long I'm away, it always feels like home. Ah, oh, that's nice, you know. It must be nice to know where home is. I'm sorry, Rose. I'm... You know, I, I know this must be hard for you. I mean, you know, you don't even know me. 
But I know a lot of things, all right? And it's fine, okay? I, I, I'm cool but, with but I don't know how it can be. I mean, I gave, I, I gave birth to you, and I was never even a part of your life. Why are you bringing that up? I'm telling you, you know, you got nothing to worry about. Everything's cool between us, I'm telling you. All right, well, it's nice of you to say that, but, you know, ever since we said goodbye, I, I mean, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you and, and the way that we left things. Well, I, I think we left things on a nice note, you know? Under the circumstances. Yeah, but I, I, I think there were a lot of things that were left unsaid. You know, mostly by me. I, I feel that I owe you, Rose. I, I feel that I owe you for all the years that I missed and for all the things that you missed out on because of the way that you came into the world. And I, I, when I first saw you, I, I didn't know... How, how to start, how to say but it. But you did, though. You, you reached out to me, and I was so consumed about what I deserved. I blamed Lily for everything, and there was no way that you could get through to me. Nobody could. But now, it, things are different, you know? Lily and I, we've worked things out. Oh, good. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Because I, I want to work things out between us. Oh, there's nothing to work out. Nothing. Well, there is for me. Rose, you know, because I, uh, I lie in bed at night and I think and think about this daughter that I never knew I had to give up. Why are you doing that? I mean, you gotta stop blaming yourself, all right? You gotta stop feeling guilty about that, please. But I, I, I do. I do. And I also feel responsible for you. I feel responsible for what happened to you. And I feel responsible for what's going to happen to you in the future. So, you know, that's, that's why I, I, I wanted to see you. And, and I wanted to try to make up for things. So I hope this will help. This is a CBS News special report. Dan Rather at CBS News World Headquarters in New York with more details on a story that CBS broke among broadcast networks a short while ago about Dick Cheney, the vice president, having been taken to the hospital complaining of chest pains. One of our White House correspondents, Bill Plant, is with us now and has an official statement. Bill? Dan, Mary Madeline, who is the vice president's counselor, put out this statement a few moments ago. It echoes what we have heard from other staff members. She says in the statement that the vice president checked himself into George Washington Hospital, that's near here, for what is called a repeat cardiac catheterization. Now that is a diagnostic test. We don't know when the last one was, but they call it a repeat one. The statement goes on to say that he experienced two brief, mild episodes of chest discomfort. They say this is a non-emergency precautionary procedure. An EKG, that's an electrocardiogram, obtained at the White House this afternoon was unchanged from the one obtained last Thursday. And that's the end of the statement. Bill, that's uh, pretty much medical speak. Uh, in practical terms, what does that seem to mean? Well, it seems to mean that he's concerned that he may have had some other kind of heart attack or heart incident. As you recall, and as you discussed earlier, he had one in November. And he has apparently taken the precaution of taking himself to the hospital after experiencing more chest discomfort. This diagnostic procedure, this catheterization, is invasive. They have to go in and look around with a dye, and then that could be followed by more, but we don't know that yet. We only know that he's taken the precaution of checking himself in. Bill Plant at the White House. Dan Rather at CBS News headquarters in New York. Your CBS local news will have more about this, and of course we'll have complete details in tonight's CBS Evening News. For news 24 hours a day, cbs.com on the internet and on our interactive partner, America Online, at keyword CBS News. It's the best. Now it provides complete flea protection. And it's the only one that also kills ticks, including the ones that carry Lyme disease. <laughs> That's cute. New Frontline Plus. For fleas and ticks, Frontline is the veterinarian's number one choice. Oh, hello.
I uh, didn't ask about Lily or the kids. Does she even know that they went away? Well, I don't know. I suppose she doesn't. I, I didn't tell her. Don't you think she ought to know? Well, why don't you tell her? You have Lily's number, don't you? Sure. Have to talk to her about the kids. Uh, I know you've spoken to them a few times. Have you? Have you talked to Lily? No, not really. I mean, we talked about travel arrangements for Luke and Faith. Can't wait for them to get here. It's going to be fun to go pick them up at the airport. I assume that uh, Lily isn't going to be with them. No, not this time. How do you feel about that? I really don't have an answer for that. Holden. Holden. Maybe I shouldn't uh, bring this up. Yeah, maybe it's not my place, but it's pretty obvious what's going on between you and Rose. Mama, Rose and I, we have a lot of fun together. Yeah, I can see that. I love to see you happy again. Well, Rose is a great woman. And I'll tell you this, if it hadn't been for her, I don't know that I would have been able to make it through these past yeah, couple of months. I can see that. I can see that, too. But I just can't help wondering. I mean, where do you go from here? Are you... Are you, are you planning a future with Rose, or...? Do you want Lily back? Holy Hoboken! What did, what did you do? Knock over a liquor store or something? No. I, I mean, I'm not in Lucinda's League, but I'm certainly not a charity case. I mean, I've saved money over the years from working, and my husband, Jason, is... Well, he makes a very good living, and I, I just, uh... I, I really wish it could be more. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why you give me anything. I mean, let alone $25,000, $25,000? Yes, 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 that's it. I, I want you to have it. I want you to have it. I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but no. No. I can't take it. No, I'm sorry. Well, no, thank you. You know, I, I'm not giving you the money because I have to. I'm giving you the money because I want to. Rose, it, it, it's not going to make up for all the years that you missed. I, I know that, and I certainly don't expect you to, to, to think of me as your mother. But I can be there for you if you ever need someone or, or you need something. You owe me nothing, oh, all right? No, nothing. no, I owe you. I owe you a lot, Rose, for all the things that I took from you. What are you I talking owe you. about? I mean, you're, t you're saying that. I mean, like, uh, you didn't choose to give me up. You didn't even know that you were having twins. It was that sleazy lawyer. No, That's I, the guy. Rose, I, I was fault. pregnant for nine months. I carried you in my body. You were a part of me. How could I not know that I gave birth to you? You know, a, a, unless I didn't want to know or something. No, see, I don't buy that, because I know. I know the story. I mean, with all the drugs that they pumped into you, you how could you even know what planet you were on? No. No. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it's just not going to change the way I feel about you. Rose, I feel I owe you so much. So please... Please, for my sake, please, take the money. Keep the money, please. In the eyes of the law, you stole $1,500 from Java Underground. So, according to the law, you should go to jail, correct? Not necessarily, no. Oh. Well, you have a plan to avoid prison. Lawyers, that's what lawyers are for, Gabe. Come on. Lawyers are for fools eager to part with their money. You don't need them. With your ingenuity, you don't need anyone. How can you say that? You don't even know me. You have no idea who I am. I know you'd managed to find me when I didn't want to be found. No other Mark's been able to do that. Bryant, listen to me. You're a very clever young man, but that keen mind won't do you much good until you start thinking outside the box. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I think so. As long as you're a stickler for the rules, you'll be vulnerable to those who would take advantage of you. And I'm not just talking about something like the business with the bracelet. I'm talking about the way, the direction your life is taking. What do you know about my life? 
Ruby told me something about your father. What'd you say? He hasn't been terribly helpful to you, has he? I mean, isn't it true that part of the reason you're under the gun for this rather paltry theft is that your father is at odds with the chief of detectives? Hal Munson. Hal Munson. And until Hal Munson can find something to pin on your father, he seems content to get at him through you. Your father seems content to let that happen. My father doesn't care who he hurts, not even his own family, all right? So, we'll get you cleared of these chances. And if, along the way, we manage to straighten your old man out, well, so much the better. Yeah, well, Lucinda is working on both of those things for me. The only way Ms. Walsh can clear your name is through the usual channels, namely a messy court case that'll forever scar your record. I can work far more discreetly, if you'll work with me. What do you want in return? Oh. Just that you keep quiet about my existence. There are, um, great benefits to walking around as a dead man. Well, will we be working together or not? I'll be back. Unless you blow my cover. If you do that, our deal's off the table. You're on your own. Oh. Hey. Oh, sorry, darling. It's very right, huh? sorry. Late. Oh. Well, I haven't made much headway in your behalf, I'm afraid. Many unreturned phone calls from Hal Munson. I, I think that maybe your only hope of leniency is if you produce the scam artists who swindled you. Now, have you found out anything at all about them? This is Barbara Ryan in room 813. Would you send up a security card, please? I have an uninvited guest who refuses to leave. Thank you. Security's on its way. Yeah, I got that. Good, then leave before they arrive. You don't want to make it any worse. How could things get any worse when you've decided to throw your life away for a murderer? Well, I think you'd better leave. I do not talk to you. Then you talk and listen to me. Go! How can you be so stubborn? Hal? How can you be so stupid? How, 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 how? You can get in my face all you want, but you don't have Barbara to push around. You don't tell anymore. me how to talk to my wife. Ex-wife, how Barbara is your ex-woman. That does it. Oh, my God! Come on, Montgomery. Get up! You think you can handle me? Get up! We'll settle this once and for all! There's a new chill in the air, Arctic chill. A new, even colder kind of gum from Dentine Ice. Cooler, icier, fresher. Even cooler, fresher. To take your breath where it's never been before. Dentine Ice. Arctic chill, new from Dentine Ice. Ice at its coldest. Who knows how long you'll live? Who knows how you'll die? If you have high cholesterol, will a heart attack make your life run out before it has to? Imagine there was a way to reduce your risk of a heart attack, to help extend your life. Wouldn't you? Ask your doctor about Provacol. If you're dieting and exercising and you still have high cholesterol, adding Provacol can make a difference. Other drugs can lower cholesterol. But only Provacol is proven to help prevent both first and second heart attacks to help you live a longer, healthier life. Provacol, a prescription drug, is not for everyone, including women who are pregnant or nursing or may become pregnant or people with liver problems. Because serious side effects can result, tell your doctor about any muscle pain or weakness you experience while on Provacol and about any medications you are taking. He may do blood tests to check for liver problems. Ask your doctor. Make the Provacol today. Provacol. Help make the story of your life a longer one. Brita water. Instantly. The Brita faucet filter. This magic moment. So different and so new. 
touch of a hand. That clean baby scent of protection, comfort, and love. Baby magic. Nobody babies your baby's skin better. Dear Relieve, arthritis pain made it hard to run my business. Even a knee operation didn't help. Tylenol quit after a few hours, and it was like sand grinding in my joints. Then one of my customers reminded me how great Aleve works. I tried it, and now I'm pain-free all day. To Aleve can stop pain all day. It would take eight Tylenol to do that. You work miracles. Thanks, Aleve. And now cold sufferers can get the all-day strength of Aleve in new Aleve cold and sinus. CBS Tonight. When Doug gets a teaching job, higher education hits a new low. Yeah! On the King of Queens. Then catch the hit comedy, Yes, Dear. This is the best meatloaf. It's got a hair in it and I still can't stop eating. And Raymond's been nominated for five TV Guide Awards and that ain't nothing to yeah. sneeze at. Then, when his best friend needs his benefits back, it's Becker to the rescue. By the time I'm through, he'll be blind, disabled, and totally incompetent. Thanks, man. All new Becker, CBS Tonight. He was saying, we are running a chop shop. Neighbors at war over secrets and lies. He threatens me all the time. I can see that. You got a hot date? Yeah. Quiet. Judge Today at 4 on CBS 2. Hungry for something different? Norm's has top sirloin steak and teriyaki chicken skewers with macadamia nut ice cream pie, all for $8.99 at all Norm's restaurants. I went to the bank to cash my check, and the lady goes, ma'am, this isn't you on your driver's license. And I said, yeah, it is. And she goes, ma'am, no, this isn't you. And I said, yes, it is, but 100 pounds heavier. Call Lindora, Southern California's number one medical weight control program. Nothing's going to make you feel better about yourself until you actually take that step to lose the weight. And it's easy. It's not a diet. You can do it. Everybody can do it. Deborah did it. You can, too. Call Lindora today. Thinking, I better go get a new driver's license. Quickly. Amazing Blue Star Ointment stops itching fast. Athlete's foot, jock itch, psoriasis, ringworm, scalp itch, stops corn and callus growth fast. Winter itch, dry crack feet. The original. Ask for it. Finally, the gentle restorative ingredients of the finest spas combined with our original rinse clean formula. Introducing Spa Formula Pro. Our man Mike visits a fellow with some hangups tonight at 5. Come and get me, Katie. Love and Treason, a world premiere, CBS Wednesday. Come on, Montgomery, get up. You talk so tough. Let's Stop see you back hell. it up. For something. Come on. Take Stop it, hell. Stay out of it, Barbara. Let him settle this like a man he claims he is. Come on. Greg, are you all I'm right? okay. I'm okay. I feel sorry for you, Hal. I don't have to put on a show to impress Barbara the way I guess you have to. If you cared half as much for Barbara as you say you do, you'd stop posing as a man and leave. It's open. The door's open. What seems to be the trouble? All right, ma'am. Claudia, this everything. This man is just leaving. I'm going. Let me make one thing clear to you, Montgomery. From now on, no rules. Whatever I have to do, I'm taking you down. Come on. You think I came here just to punch somebody out? I came for you. For you, Barbara, because I will die before I let anybody hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's not your fault. Barbara, it's not your fault. Everything is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You have to go out. Young Lockenbar, and, and lead the police to these crooks who hoodwinked you. But you haven't gotten any closer, have you? No. no. But I've been thinking about it a lot lately. And I think I should just give up looking altogether. What? Well, the last time we talked, you were absolutely passionate that you were going to find them. Yeah, but I felt duped, and I, I wanted payback. But the truth is, no one forced me to steal that money. So even if I go out there and I prove that I was a victim of this con, I'm still going to be brought up in the charges. And I don't want it to look like I'm trying to blame someone else for my, my mistake. Now, darling, that is very commendable and, and rather mature. But what are the alternative avenues? You're, you're 
date is coming up very soon, the calendar. There's no luck working out that deal with Hal? Oh. People don't know where he's gone. He has left town, and no one knows where he is or when he's going to come back. <laughs> well, that's great. It may be coincidence, darling, but somebody told me that your dad is, has also vanished. Well, with any luck, he won't return. Oh, we want him to return, because we want him to pay you back every cent that he stole. Dear, didn't they used to have a fruit plate at one point? I, I can't. Could we please go home and let Rosa whip us up something? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. You know what? Why don't you go home, and I will take care of this bill. Okay. And I will meet you back there. Sounds like a plan. All right. <laughs> Plan your dive, dive your plan. All right. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. oh darling. See you shortly. All right. You made a wise decision, Brian. Yeah, well, I was just close to telling her everything. I don't blame you. It's obvious your grandmother loves you very much, but. She can't help you the way I can, if you've agreed to my little proposition, that is. Yeah. I don't know why I do, but I do. Marvelous. We'll make a good team. I meant what I said before. I don't have some sudden ambition to learn how to be a con artist. But I don't want to be the victim of a con either. I don't enjoy being used. No. No one does. The secret is to turn the tables, but you don't do it to them. You make them do it to themselves, and when they look back, they don't know how it happened. You know what? You teach me how to do that, and we have a deal. Be a pleasure doing business with your friend. Mm. This is gorgeous money. Gorgeous money, but I, I can't take it. Well, Rose, you have to, because I don't know any other way to make things up to you. What are you talking about? I look at you, you came, you came all the way out here to talk to me and treat me like family. Family, I am... Mean, you even bribed me like family. Huh? That's what a decent mother does. She bribes. <laughs> no, a, a, a decent mother wouldn't have screwed up her baby's life. Oh, first of all, do I look screwed up to you? Don't answer that. Second of all, you gotta stop blaming yourself. I mean, <sighs> it's not your fault that no. those people did that to you. That they, they took advantage of you and they lied to you. Third, fourth, and fifth of all, which is the most important thing. If you feel like you did something wrong, and you didn't do the right thing by me, then I forgive you. So there it is. All right? It, it didn't even cost you a cent. Take it. You know, you're just saying that to make me feel better. Oh, well, yeah, that's me, you know. If you knew me, you wouldn't say that. If I didn't mean everything I just said, then I would have taken that money. Oh, I would have ran out the door. Rose, please. No, I'm not going to take it. No way. Uh-uh. You know, I learned things here, you know? There are things in this life that money just cannot buy. I know it's a cliche, but it's true. I mean, even a gold card, it wouldn't matter, you know? There are things in life, and I owe you. No. Yes, no. I owe you. You know why? Because I, I'm back together with my pop now. He's in my life again. And I got friends, and I got family. And I found the most amazing guy in the world, too. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Do I uh, know him? Yeah. He's Holden. So you haven't made any decision yet about your future? No. I haven't decided a thing. Well, what about Lily? I mean, you think about Lily, don't you? I mean, what's... Think about what's going to happen when she gets back, right? Yeah, Mama. Well, I think about Lily all the time. Especially out here, on the farm. Yeah. You two practically grew up out here. I mean, you must have had some wonderful times out here, yes? Sure did. Mm -hmm. But the best times were quiet ones. Ones out at the pond. I remember there were moments when we were able to read each other's thoughts. Without even saying a word. Gotta miss that. Sure right? do. But you know, then Rose will come along and she'll say something crazy. It'll make me forget what I'm missing and I'm able to focus on what's in front of me. Meaning Rose. Sure. 
Nothing wrong with that, is there? No, no, not unless you're using Rose to get Lily off your mind. I mean, then it wouldn't be very... It wouldn't be very fair to Rose. Okay, so Lily has left town indefinitely, and I'm supposed to figure out what the future holds for either one of us? How can I do that, Mama? Holden, you can know if you still love Lily. And if you do, it's only one thing to do. You just, you just gotta go after her and tell her you want her back. The world is a beautiful place, but not when your eyes feel dry, gritty, irritated. Protect them with Refresh brand eye drops. Refresh is no ordinary eye drop. First, Refresh relieves dryness. Then, Refresh forms a lasting shield of protection that keeps irritation out and moisture in. So get relief and protection with the number one brand recommended by eye doctors. Refresh brand eye drops for relief and protection that lasts. What if the daily supplement was clinically shown to work on both sides of PMS, physical and emotional? It's true. I did the research. I suspected that calcium affected hormone balance. We used one specific calcium. New Calcium for Life PMS from Tums. So unique, it's patented. The results? A significant decrease in physical and emotional symptoms. It has a dramatic effect on women. It changes their lives. Tums Calcium for Life PMS. What are you doing? Laundry. Laundry? But I'm glad you're up. I've been waiting to vacuum. Breakfast. I'll pick up your tray when I get back from the market. But it's Sunday. Aren't you going to lay around and watch football all day? Not if I'm going to finish that roast in time for dinner. Somebody had their minute made this morning. It only takes a minute, but the feeling lasts all day. Honey, what's the setting for chiffon? A typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, uh, I didn't want mail. You don't have to sacrifice service to save money. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. My face is the center of their world. Dove knows your face is important. I say, Mommy doesn't wear your clothes. Please don't wear hers. Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. That's what I start my day off with. But there's one thing that's just mine. New Dove cleansing cloths with one quarter moisturizer and vitamins A and E. They create a luxurious lather, leaving skin feeling soft and hydrated as they clean. Kids love to touch soft things, especially my face. And that makes me feel great. Erin is a lawyer, bright, beautiful, and battered. I couldn't believe that this was happening to me in this million-dollar house with my attorney husband. And Mark Gastineau was a football superstar. Not anymore. I messed up. Violence at home landed him behind bars. Abuse in the best of homes, 48 hours tonight. Tuesday on 60 Minutes 2, he's accused of betraying America. How could he fool people for so long? That's what we asked his boss. His answer on 60 Minutes 2, Tuesday at 9, 8 Central. Go after Lily, huh? You know, I already did that, Mama. Didn't work. I don't know that I could do it again. Holden, you can do anything if you're still in love with Lily. Yeah, well, that's just it. I don't know that I am still in love with her. But, but you just told me, you just told me that you think about her all the time. I do think about her all the time. Sometimes I miss her like crazy. Thinking about someone and still being in love with them, those are two completely different you things. just don't fall out of love with someone all of a sudden. It's not sudden. We talked about this. We've slowly been drifting apart for a very long time now. And it got worse when we found out that Denise was Hope's mother. And we had to give her back. It's times like that where you're supposed to come together. But for us, we just stop communicating. Well it's, well, it's kind of natural. I mean, after going through all that. It, it doesn't feel natural. There were times when I stayed at work late just so I didn't have to go home. Every husband and wife, that happens. I mean, people get through it. 
Yeah, sometimes. But sometimes love just slowly fades away. And maybe that's what's happening to us. And if that's the case, then we just have to accept it and move on. And while you're figuring all this out, how does Rose fit into the picture? Uh, it's like I told you, you know, Rose and I, we have a lot of fun together. And, and that's all there is to it. Listen, sweetheart, fun is fun as long as someone doesn't get hurt. I would never hurt Rose. Well, not on purpose. But you surely can see what's going on here. I mean, Rose is head over heels in love with you. Rose and I, we don't talk about love, Mama. Doesn't mean it isn't there. Okay, fine. So maybe she wants a little more from me than I'm willing to give, but she knows that I'm not ready to make a commitment, and she is okay with that. Are you sure about that? Yeah, she said so. Many times. Oh, listen, don't let that tough talk fool you. I mean, you step on that... that sweetheart of hers, and... it'll break into a million pieces. Don't worry, okay? Okay. <laughs> if you promise me you'll be careful with... Rose's heart and, and with yours. I will. I promise you. I, I, mean, I mean, I had no idea that you and Holden had, had gotten so close. We haven't had exactly like a traditional courtship, you know, considering when he met me, I was pretending to be his wife. But there's, that's it now, because it's clean slate and, and it's good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Do you mind if I ask you how, how Lily feels about this? You can ask me that, but I don't know, because she's gone. She's out of the loop. Do you, what do you mean? You, you don't, you know, no, you don't know that? She's no. gone. Yeah, took no. the kids and left to get her head That's straight. That's the first time I've heard of that. It's the first I've heard about a lot of things today. You mean like me and Holden? So, uh, how do you feel about that? Gosh, Rose. I, 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 I really can't comment on that. I mean, you and Lily are both my daughters. But that's not why I told you, because, you know, I, I wanted you to know that I'm all right, you know? I'm, I'm better than all right, actually, and all that guilt that you're feeling inside, it's, it's, it's water under the bridge. It's, it's over, all right? I'm getting on with my life, and Lily is certainly getting on with her life. And I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I have a tight time to get on with your life. Barbara, you shouldn't have had to go through that. Are you okay? I'm fine. How can I be anything but when I'm with you? This feels so right, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Barbara? Mm -hmm. I know you said that before we take the next step, you wanted to be absolutely sure we're doing the right thing. You're sure now, aren't you? I'm sure that there's no going back. Hmm. And I know that this feels very real. But I need for Hell to accept this, and I don't know how to convince him. Well, there's one thing that might. What's that? Marry me, Bob. Pray. Hmm? <sighs> Well, I know you said you weren't ready and all, but I thought that after all, we went through and housed cheap theatrics. Then, of course, there is this. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I've never seen anything quite like it. That's what I thought when I first saw it, too. But then I found something even more beautiful. And I wanted her to wear it. The Heartburn Hotel. If you suffer persistent heartburn two days a week or more, despite diet change and treatment, it may be acid reflux disease. Prescription Prevacid can mean 24-hour relief from acid reflux disease. Prevacid turns off tiny pumps that produce acid. It has a low occurrence of side effects, such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea. Ask your doctor if Prevacid is right for you. So leave your heartburn behind! Yeah! 
I'm proud of you. Why? You're drinking Florida orange juice. You know the March of Dimes states that the B vitamin, folic acid, found naturally in Florida orange juice may reduce the risk of some birth defects by as much as 70%. Wow. How do you know this? Email. Email. In the fridge. Oh, yes. I've got this icebox wired. T1, 600 megs RAM, fiber Hi. optic. 100% pure Florida orange juice. Squeeze more health into life. Mm. It's the $99 sale going on now at David's Bridal. Every wedding gown is on sale. Select gowns are on sale for only $99. Plus, every wedding gown, thousands, all reduced $50 to $300 right now. And with David's Bridal Rewards, take 15% off all bridal party dresses and shoes when you buy your gown. Call now for your appointment for the $99 sale. 1-800-399-BRIDE. you love David's Bridal. Three different kids, three different opinions about everything, except about what they eat. Chef Boyardee? Kids love Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. It has the taste they crave, and it's real food that's real fast. Say yes to the chef. You know, when the toilet bowl overflows over the floor, it's not a nice thing. You could have a lot of trouble with the septic if you don't maintain it. It could also back up on the lawn. It's cheaper to maintain your septic system. The bacteria and enzymes in Ridex help prevent septic backups. Use Ridex once a month. Pick it up, flip it up, stir it up, drink it up, coffee me. Pick it up, pour it out, stir it up, how about coffee me? made from Nestle. In one explosive moment. I never meant for this to happen. You've got to believe me. Edna may have blown. That's the sort of man you are. Someone who would kill for power. His one chance to rule. What I've waited for my entire life is just going to be taken away. Now what happens next? I'd like to set the record straight. It's a little too late for spin control, Eddie. Is everything. I don't know. I thought I was just going to come here, give you the check, and then... Poof. It's just, it's a lot more complicated than I thought. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. I, I never meant to cause trouble. Uh, when don't I? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. Trouble? It's my middle name. So we'll get along. Fine. You want to do something for me? You know, you want to tell them for me to make up for these years that you think that you missed? Sure. You can be my friend. Because oh. I really need a friend right now. And you can become part of this nice extended family that I have now. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can try. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not, I'm no, it's being, okay. No, no, we were just finished. You two okay? Never better. I'm drier. <laughs> Maybe, but uh, never better. Uh, well, it's time. I've got a date with Emma to watch a movie. Yeah. Oh. Oh, all right. Well, I got a lot of work to do, so I'll get out of here. Oh, no, no, okay? no, no. You got to come with me. You got to watch the movie. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. It's probably some romantic flick, right? No, no, I'm no, really no. not. No, no, no. Nothing like that. It's, a, it's about this crazy Italian family, and they love all the wrong people. But somehow they end up happy. Moonstruck. You know it? Oh, it's, uh, yeah, one of my all-time favorites. Well, good. We can all watch it together, you know? One, one crazy family watching another. Who are you calling the crazy family? Come on, <laughs> let's go. I salute you, Brian. You made the right decision today. Great. Now go ahead, make me wiser. Wow. Can you make it to Mabel's tonight? About 8 o'clock? Yeah. I'll be there. Good. So will my daughter. You have a daughter? Oh. Her name's Ruby. <laughs> you hadn't figured that one out. Ooh. Do have a lot to learn. Anyway, um, she's looking forward to seeing you. She's rather fond of you, you know? Yeah, well, uh... We had an interesting relationship. I'm sure you'll get better. So, till tonight. Tonight, 8 o'clock. 
I promise you, Brian, you won't be sorry. Clockwork. So Brian's back on board? Oh, yes. And we're one step closer to getting our hands on his grandmama's fabulous fortune. Yeah? Lucinda? Tal Munson. Well, you finally returned my calls. Look, we, we have got to, we've got to talk about my grandson and the charges. That's why I'm calling. How would you like to see those charges dropped? You're interested, then, in, in a little arrangement? Interested isn't the word. I'm ready to run with it. Good. When do you get back? In a couple of hours. Does that give you enough time to get the evidence that you've got against Montgomery together? Well, I will have it ready and waiting when you arrive. Good answer. Like I said, Craig, no rules. I can't. Not yet. Why not? Because of all the reasons I've already told you. I, I, I can't commit to another marriage. It's too soon. Yes, but after everything we went through, all I along... want to wear this ring. But when I do, and when I put it on, I want it to be for the rest of my life. Excuse me for a what, What's wrong? Nothing, oh, nothing. I, I just want to call my kids. I want to check in with them. I miss them. We've had a rough couple of weeks, and I just want to let them know that everything's going to be okay. They may not believe me, but I need to say it. Do you understand? Yes, no.